Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. Just want to quickly update you about the latest price moves here about XRP. Um, looking at this, one reason for concern I, uh, yeah, I made you aware of already before, and that is the reason that, um, or that is because XRP did not move above the previous all-time high in the 2021 bull run. That just is a reason for concern coupled with the view or coupled with a problem that XRP also in the last bear market came for a very long period below the 88.7% Fibonacci retracement level. That is usually the Fibonacci retracement level where I say below that level, there is a risk that coins will have it more difficult to recover um, from a sentiment point of view. And yeah, well, it did recover in the last bull run, but didn't make a new all time high. So we are also again getting very close to crossing the 88.7% Fib level again which doesn't mean it will never recover, but the problem might be in the next bull run. If it doesn't do a new all time high in the next bull run, I would try to run away from this coin. I'm very honest with you, because this just means that the interest is fading step by step. And um, yeah, that is just a reason for concern still for me for XRP. Yeah. So however, let's take a look at the shorter time frame. So at the moment, I still count this bullish. I've still counted this as a wave one to the upside and a wave two currently in which we currently are to the downside which is a corrective wave, a WXY, a complex correction, which would mean then in the next run to the upside, we should see a wave three and should actually get to at least $3.08 yeah, in a wave three. Um, that is the minimum requirement from this move. The next bullish wave should take us to at least $3.08, $3.09, the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level. However, better, higher than that. Yeah. Okay, anyway, let's take a look at the more short term um, wave count here. So better go to the f to the one hour chart, I think. Um, lower wave count reveals that we are here at the moment in a triangle, at least that is what I see. Yeah, we talked about that in the previous videos already. Um, it currently adheres very well to the triangle count. And if I zoom in, I also gave you the really minor wave count here in the previous video. Bear in mind, these change very often. That is just the nature of the beast. However, at the moment, I think it has, well, it might have changed here in the sense that we did not in this fifth wave in pink, we did not get to 38 cents. We got only to 39 cents. Okay. So anyway, we, what I would like to do, I think this, what I had as a five wave move in um, pink, which was probably finished already with that low here. So let me take the pink wave count out, but that means that down here, it seems like due to the length of that move up, even though it could still be here, uh, that wave count, but it, it has just become too long that wave four. Yeah. Um, because what I would have had to do, yeah, I would have had to move that wave four up here and that wave five down here, but that would have just been massively, you know, co compared to the wave two, in pink, that wave four would have just been too long. Therefore, not very realistic. Therefore, um, we can com we can see this wave D actually as complete. Yeah. So meaning that this wave D down here in the triangle, which is an A B C D E triangle, a five wave move, the triangle. Each of these waves has three sub waves. Yeah, it subdivides into three waves A B C. And of course, these ABC waves subdivide further. So however, how I see this, I see this here as an ABC, we came down, we finished the wave D off. And that means that we probably that is currently likely that we have finished off the wave E already. Yeah. One reason for that is that after the wave D low here, we can again label this wave E as an ABC because each wave in the triangle has three waves. So again, we can label this as an A, B, C. What is usually the price target for a wave C? You can see it usually as a 1.618 Fibonacci extension of the wave A. So let's see if that matches. So yeah. Wow, perfect. We, we came actually to the 1.618 Fibonacci extension level here, um, exactly at 41 cents actually. So that can really confirm that the wave E here is already over. That also explains the very strong reaction we saw it. Now, if that wave E is over, what needs to happen now? We would need to break below the swing low here 
which is 38.8 cents. But for real confirmation, we really, really need to break below the low of the wave B here, which is 37.5 cents. Now let's be honest, already a break below 38.8 cents, which I have currently still labeled as the wave D, would confirm that this is not a triangle in this shape anymore. Um, if it will become a different triangle, we, I would need to take a look at it. But if you break below the BD line, which I think I need to draw a little bit more accurately, then this confirms it is not a triangle anymore because then the wave, um, well, you can't, you can break below the BD line, but what you can't really do in this is to break below the wave D. So we are very close now, 38.7 cents. If we move below that, I think it can really indicate that this wave four, where's the wave four here, that this wave four is complete. Yeah, that is the wave four, which belongs to that wave three here from the 12th of May. So we came down in wave, th in wave three, we moved up in a wave four, the wave four was shape of a triangle, and we're now moving down in a wave five, which will subdivide again into five waves. Um, a one, two, th so it will be something like this. If this is starting very likely below 38 point, what did I say, 38.8 cents, next support would then be 37 and a half cents. Um, how this would look, it would probably be something like a uh, wrong wave count. It would be something like this, a wave one down. What you then need to expect is another retracement, of course, wave two, wave three, then our beloved wave four. We love them, they are very long and then a wave five down. And that can really complete this overall correction for XRP. So all eyes now need to be on that 38.8 cent level. So few things we need to watch out for now. First of all is the trend line here, an ascending trend line, which we are fighting with at the moment. Then all eyes on the wave D low at 38.8 cents and then 37 and a half cents. Below this, each of these levels, that e when each of these levels gets broken, it makes it more likely that we're already starting this five wave impulse to the downside to hopefully finally finish this overall correction off. If we don't get below the low of the wave D, it will probably mean that the wave E isn't finished and that this here will in a wave E become an A, B and the wave C is still to come and might touch this resistance level here. And that would then, if we find support here where we currently are, yeah, and you start to see some bullishness, my view is that it will go all the way up here, probably to around 42 cents. That can still be the wave E high, yeah. Okay, and that is my view here about um, XRP at the moment. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching, bye-bye.